Hi everybody, it is me, Ellie, and I am here to teach you guys how to make little spider webs. This craft is super simple and you know, it's the spookiest time of the year right now. It's October. If you're watching this in October, if you're watching this a different time because it's on the internet, then you can make whatever time you're watching this the spookiest time of the year. <laughs> But I'm doing this in October. So we're gonna spook it up a little bit because what better way to celebrate, you know, spooky October than to craft about it, right? So this craft is very, very simple. Um, you don't really need a lot of stuff to do it. All you need is some white yarn or I mean, I guess you could do really whatever, whatever color yarn you want, but I like to do white because it looks more like a spider web. But if you want to do rainbow color, do rainbow color. If you want to do, you know, orange, do orange. If you want to take a nap, take a nap. But I will be using white and crafting, not napping. So, yarn. Then you want to use some popsicle sticks. Since summer is over, I'm sure you all had lots of popsicles, whether they were homemade or store-bought. So you want three. I like to use the long, skinny popsicle sticks for this. Um, I think they work best, but you can use the sh uh, shorter, thicker ones if you would like. But these are the ones that I have for this craft. And then, of course, you need you don't really need it, but it's nice. You need <gasps> spiders! Except these aren't real spiders. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. It's kind of blurry over there. These are just fake little spiders that you can get from <laughs> either online or all of the Halloween stores that pop up <laughs> like end of August. So some fake spiders. So are you ready to begin? I am. I think this one's very fun. And you can make a whole bunch of them. Because if you're buying materials for, to make this craft, you will you can't just buy like three popsicle sticks. You're gonna have to buy at least 10. So you can make at least three. <laughs> Asking me to do math on the fly is never a good idea. All right, so I already have my yarn cut out. Um, you can leave your yarn on the thing. I have mine cut out. It's not super long. You don't need it to be super long for this because popsicle sticks are small. And probably the hardest part of this craft is the very beginning, is starting it. So you will want to take your popsicle sticks and put them in a little star asterisk formation. And if you were wiser than I, you would glue these together just like that. But as I just established, I'm not that wise. So I'm not going to glue them together just like that. I am going to take my yarn and try to tie by wrapping them a bunch all together while holding your finger there and tightly weaving it and then so I've tightly kind of woven it around all the spots and I'm going to take this long one that I haven't used I'm going to take my two ends and I'm going to tie them in a knot and let me do that really quick and then I will show you what it looks like. I like to do it this way because then you can adjust. You can still move your sticks if you really have to, but I really don't know why you would really have to. Okay, so it's not pretty, but it works. So I have that and I have it tied. I'm trying to get it to focus. It's not really working. It's focused on my face, but that's what we have, okay? And then with this little end piece, 
if you have scissors around or if your grown up has scissors around or if someone around you has scissors around, you can take those and you can just cut off that little end piece because we're not going to need that anymore. So this is what we have, right? Next, we are going to take our thread, our long part of the thread, not the teeny tiny bit we just cut off, and we are going to go like this and wrap it. So I'll show you again. So you're going to take it and you're going to wrap it once and then you move on to the direction that you're going and wrap it again and make sure you're keeping your string very very tight. You're going to hold on to this while you turn your other hand and you're going to keep going. Wrap it. So this does um, call for some coordination. Wrap it. Do you see how I'm doing that? And we already have the beginnings of a spider web, you can tell. We're going to come back. And we are going to keep wrapping this. And once you get back to your beginning, you don't want to wrap your next one here. You want to move a little bit over because spider webs usually don't meet the same line. They weave their web in kind of a curly cue, like a spiral shape. So that's what we're going to be doing with our yarn. So I'm going to go over here and wrap it. And then once again, just going a little bit higher than the previous one was. And keep going. Now, I say I love the spookiest time of the year, but please don't be confused. I do not like to be scared. <laughs> I just really enjoy the spooky aesthetic. Oh no, I think I'm running out of yarn. My yarn might have been too short. We'll see. It's okay if it was. Oh, so see, I'm running out. So, I think... I, to finish this off, I'm going to wrap it right here and tie a knot to make sure it does not fall out. Once more. And if you do have your yarn already cut or your thread already cut and you run out because you're weaving it not on the same, not on the spool, I'm sure you can even tie more yarn to it. Just tie more and then keep going to finish. But I think this is okay. What do you think? Maybe I'll make another one. Let's see. Do I have stuff? Oh, I sure do. Because like I said, if you buy some popsicle sticks, you are going to buy more than the three you need. So I have this one. And the thing is, spider webs are not perfect, right? They're actually pretty imperfect, which is one of the things that makes them so wonderful and cool to look at. Oh, we'll put on our spiders. We'll wait for our spiders. I'm sorry if any of you viewers are queasy when you see spiders. I personally don't have a problem with spiders, but I respect that other people do. Okay, so I'm going to start over. This time I'm going to do my yarn still on the spool to see how it works out. So, do you remember how I started it? I hope so, because I don't. Just kidding. I do. So I'm going to take some, leave a little bit so I'll have enough to tie. And then while holding it, I am just going to thread this through different spots. Not worrying about being pretty. Okay, got it. And I'm going to set it down and I'm going to tie a knot with the original piece that I had left over. 
And I think, yep, yeah, untie that knot. Okay, so this is what I have. Can you tell? It's it against my black shirt. I am going to cut off with my handy dandy scissors. Great. Once again, if you're not comfortable using scissors, ask someone in your home to help. And you can tell when I was doing this, I kind of got off center. So I'm going to push my popsicle sticks where I need them to be for this to work. And then I'm going to start weaving. So we're going to wrap once. And I think this one, I might do closer together than I did my previous one. My other one that I did first, I left large gaps in between the rows. But I think I'm going to try to make this one look very ton spun very tightly like a spider that had all the time in the world when they were weaving their web also this one is the thing i like about this craft i guess is that it's very hard to mess up and i like crafts that you're kind of doing the same repetitive motion I typically find them very calming. And I feel like that's just what we need right now. We can be both spooky and calming. Of course we can. We can be anything we want. Just still going. I'm almost done though. I must have gotten uneven again somewhere along the lines because some of my popsicle sticks have much more room than the other also i guess if you really did want to you could glue each time you weave it like each loop-de-loop -loop you do just to make sure that none of them slip and fall but i don't really think that that's necessary all right i think i'm kind of just about at the end of where I'm gonna be able to go. So maybe I should just end it there. What do you think? Right there? Or should I try to end it over here? Ooh, I think I'm gonna try to end it over there. I think I've said this before in other videos that I've done, but I always make the mistake of going just a little bit too far in that I like really am happy with what I do and I think it looks really good but then I'm like oh I can just add a couple more and then I add a couple more and it doesn't look as good it's a classic not quitting while you're ahead situation <laughs> which I fall into often all right so I think I'm pretty happy with this even though these ones are a little bit off but there it's too tight so whatever I'm going to cut this I'm going to give myself a little extra room because I still have to tie my finishing knot and we know spiders don't tie knots but you know spiders don't do this with yarn either <laughs> webs are sticky and I sincerely hope your yarn is not sticky because <laughs> that would be problematic <laughs> for other reasons Great for the purposes of this particular craft, but no one likes sticky yarn. I should embroider that on a pillow. Okay. Ooh, I like how this one turned out. Okay, so here's the two that I made. One is a little bit more intense than the other, but I like them both, because I think I've seen spider webs that look like both of these, have you? But we're missing something spiders obviously so I like I said I have these teeny tiny little plastic spiders you can buy like a bag of like 100 of them on the internet for like three dollars and you can tape your spider or glue your spider or just kind of try to tuck one of his little legs under ooh, your yarn which I'm trying to do doesn't really matter too much because he'll stay in there. Well, I have to put the other one on too. And then 
Like you'll use like two spiders for this and then you'll have what 98 left over in your bag. You can use them to pull pranks on people or you can put them out with your spooky decorations or anything you want. You can give them to a local spider enthusiast. I have a couple friends that are. And there we go. It's so spooky, it's like eyeglasses. I hope you guys can make these at home. If you do make it, feel free to share pictures of them to our social media pages, because I would love to see what you do with it. And if you do use rainbow yarn or orange yarn or sticky, <laughs> Please don't use sticky yarn. That'd be gross. <laughs> but, yeah, very simple. Anyone can do it. It's easy peasy. Even if you mess up, it's still easy, right? Good job, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun making your own. Bye.